Hello guys, I'm Delifix and welcome to the Split Warlord campaign. Uh, we finished the, uh, the the terraforming missions, the secrets of the uh, the Taurus station, and I decided to actually continue a tiny bit with getting blueprints, starting um, work a bit more on the uh, on the so-called hunger jungry tube. And uh, right now it's actually operating, uh, well, for 75 million. It's, it's insane. The station is, well, let's just say it's quite hideous. Uh, we got uh, a few more docks and all of that, but that, that is another thing. So I took some time and I decided that it would probably be in my best interest to actually... Uh, potentially do the same thing with this particular station. Hopefully it does work because I had to import a data like farm. remind all visitors to visit our special sales area close to the casino. Well, never mind, change the plans. It is clear that we need to actually take control of this, uh, this ship and Mission get the achieved. heck out of here long uplink to Kuro before we get another station announcement Transfer because that is quite annoying AI up Corps incoming Corps call Corps expedition Corps ai call and then uh three. wait what the fuck okay so apparently i'm getting lightning striked awesome that's cool i like that uh, data transfer has been complete. Does it mean that we can now... No, it's not there yet. So apparently there's definitely another follow-up. There's most likely going to be like Bosa just uh, starting to be a tiny bit annoying. The Grand Experiment. Yeah, we'll... Um, we'll have to do that, actually. We do, we do. So before we do anything, let's go back to uh, the logistical spiral, logistic spiral. Uh, hopefully the plan, uh, did it not import the monster? There you go, import plan. Uh, yes, override existing monster, thank you. Um, the monster, here we go. So I, I did take some time. And right now, the, the station is, is, is very much out of boundary, apparently. Uh, so definitely we want to change that. Um, the question now, of course, is do we want to start using this design? It's, it's kind of what this is all going to be about, right? Uh, I still think it's not really in here. Uh, which is the right one? I'm thinking it is you, actually. Uh, th this should be fine. This, sh this should be fine. Uh, let's see if it is. No, it isn't. Of course not, because of reasons. Uh, cancel module changes, please. Yes, thank you very much. What do you want me to do? Do we use the monster as a design? Um, to, you know, supply even the free families with all of the items we'll be producing now of course we won't be selling everything and that would mean that we'll have to start using the open market trade center which actually isn't a bad thing because uh we want to supply the split war with the shipyards and the war form with more goods also doing the construction of the monster might actually help the free family fighting of the Xenon because they actually did take over family uh, Tikir, if that's pronounced correctly. Yeah, so something like that. So how do I want to continue? So the only blueprints I don't have yet in terms of production is everything revolved around food and illegal goods. We can either choose to get those or we can just say, well, ignore them for now and get them on a later date. And I kind of want to do that because I think that it is actually time that we get ourselves a carrier, um, which 
has a good amount of medium ship capacity and small ship capacity. And there is a question that I have for you. So I have been, let's, let's just actually order this before we do anything else. Uh, otherwise I'll just keep going round and round in circles. Now all of these mediums, we will mostly swap out for flag. So we are actually going to be sending this ship to the free family uh, in order to get some flag. Um, there is actually also room for 320 missiles. I'm not sure if that is interesting. Let me know in the comments if you have ever done uh, a missile ship or something. Uh, for now, we'll just take a quick look. I don't need defense drones. Let's get repair drones. Let us get a full complement of service crew members. Uh, so we can actually tra train their morale. And when we do decide to start boarding, which, well, let's be honest here. This is a carrier. If, if this ship starts boarding, we, we kind of have a problem now, don't we? Also, let me know a cool name for the very first of our Raptors. So this is going to be the Fleet Commander. I believe that they did change the carriers to have actually like they behave as carriers so they stay away from the front line so if even if this is the head of the fleet it will still send out its fighters and stuff like that so that is 53 million we still need a lot of turret components but at least now it is ordered the question i have is it kind of has to do with whether or not it pays to like either use a cobra as a missile boat I'm not sure if if that is going to be the thing like free missiles or if we want to use a dragon as an attack ship the problem i have with this is just that that the split ships are quite weak They're like glass cannons basically and the difference between, uh, let's just make sure that we actually have the split stuff. Split combat engines, okay, anything else? Split shields would be quite nice, okay, then don't. Fine, no split engines. Uh, don't want the, well, the lenses is kind, kind of okay, I guess. For now, because we'll, we'll probably do the same thing with the others as well. Flag, sure. Even though flag is really free families. Targeting, don't really need trade. Uh, get rid of this one, get combat engines, that is fine, it's confirmed. So we are going to be using this as like a medium fighter, but they're expensive. We could also just choose to go with either a Chimera, which has six weapons as well. Uh, let's go with uh, the split setup again. On the high preset. Uh, the combat engines are here. Shields and then... The other ship has the, uh, the boson lances as well. I confirm that. So, the difference between these two ships, right is like the hull is almost the same it, it's it's not that big a difference the shields of course are a lot less but the recharge rate is incredible of the chimera shields the delay however is is not but then again what is this delay for 33 like will it add up yes or no probably not how many times can that fit into that I'm going to be assuming like 5 ish because 10 is 333. And uh, that would be 150, 100. And yeah, I think it's like times 5. So this recharge delay is still quite severe. But the acceleration is, is, is immense. The speed is 500, which is more than enough. But the price of the Chimera is like 1.5 million. And the Dragon would be five eight to i don't know how much actually how much would that be 
My preset. Holy crap. 20 million. Oh man, 20 million. I, I, we're just keeping these both uh, on lenses on, but we definitely are not using those. So 20 million. Oh wow, well actually. Against 50 million. I. How much would that be on a low preset then? Yeah, no, I've, I think we'll do Crimeras. Let me know in the comment section, would you like any medium ships? Well, will we use the medium ships? We have a room for 100, and there's two types of ships that I want to do. One is going to be some uh, some basic fighter, uh, which has a bit of a plasma, although I don't think that is really helpful. Let's just take a look. What kind of weapons do we want on this thing? Like, I've seen them with Pulse Laser, and Pulse is very precise, which is, you know, not bad at all. We could also just equip them with tracking launchers. Like, one tracking launcher, and then this can be uh, Tau Accelerators. Uh, Mark 1. Yeah, until we get a wolf of our, of our own. Let's just do Tau. They're very close, and then the missiles could be... Uh, I like the smart, they, they're not distracted, I think, by... Uh, flares. Disruptors will just cut engines, light-guided... Light heat-seeking... Light s swarming missiles is actually quite fun... To play around with. And if we use an auxiliary ship, we should be able to actually resupply these. So this is extremely cheap. Like, what's the difference? It's not that much. And and firepower does actually count. So six. Okay, so ten would be six million. Let's let's uh, let's buy. What forty? Just to get started. 40 small ships to go with that. And we'll use the money we have over here. Confirm that. Bar ships. Uh, 20 missiles. 20... 20, 20, so that doesn't matter at all. These only have two fraud slots, so that's definitely a problem. I do like, I, I like the look of them though. What's the boost speed? That's actually not bad. But I'm most likely, like, it, it, the problem is, if we use Karamera, then, the, we kind of do need to. Actually, I preset and then we'll just make this bombing. Like recently, I had the uh, the video on the the Star Wars Interworlds, and I kind of messed that up. Without uh, sending in a carrier without any support is just a mistake. So these are going to be our bombing ships. Um, we're actually going to say, um, uh, bombers. Save as new. There we go. At least now we know these are those guys. 6.4 million. That is too much. That doesn't make any sense. That is 8. That's way better. That doesn't make sense either. But that's just... Well, it, add, it, it, it does add up, actually. Heavy torpedoes. There we go. 1.2 million. Ah, that's fine. Let us override loadout. And we're going to say, well, to 30 as well. And once these are done, we'll look into that. So this might take a while uh, to just prepare. So what is the goal then? Well, we started the series having two goals. One is going to be kicking the Argon Federation's asses over here. And dealing with the Xenon. 
I think I want to deal with the Argon Federation first because I, f because I think they're easier to deal with than the Xenon, especially the shipyards are usually quite well defended. So yeah, for now, let us go to Bosita. Hello there. Okay, what do you want? You will find that a new item of research is available. Nice. Even what we have learned from our teleportation research, I believe we can apply it on a grand scale. This experiment will result in the relocation of this station to another position within this sector. That is, unless we run into some disastrous issue, of course. Wait, within this sector? Why would I want to be in the... Why don't we just teleport to some place that is actually useful? Alright, let's take a look. Uh, I'm currently... Cancel that. Uh, we do need like a thousand of Ethereum. The rest should not be a problem. Please gather the required materials. Uh, let's take a look. Did I actually have a mining ship in there? Uh, we have a good... Manager, so that should work. He's going to mine. And he will do the thing. So... What I'll do is I'm going to be constructing the defensive uh, base over here. Um, and while I do that, I'll also quickly add an auxiliary ship. Because we actually do need one. Ew, wow. <laughs> Damn, they're not messing around. No way. No, there's no way I'll do that. 3.1 million? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not that dense. Uh, we should probably make the mediums. Doesn't really matter because we're going to be getting flag anyways. I don't need this ship to be at the front line. We need a hell of a lot of turret components to actually pull this off. We... I think if we get like 30 cargo drones and 70 repair drones, that should be... Plenty. And uh, once again, service crew members to actually start building on that morale. Let's order this ship up. And yeah, I'm going to be constructing that base and I'll, uh, I'll see you in a, in a second. Well, that doesn't look good. Um, I just started constructing this, uh, this base and there is a whole lot of fires actually heading towards this. I'm very much paying attention to this 15% because I kind of don't want to waste uh, 11.8 million by, you know, just losing it because I didn't pay attention to what these ships are actually all about. I'm expecting a larger ship to head in. So uh, I kind of did make a mistake uh, the mistake I made is that I ordered another monitor even though I already have one. That definitely is not something I want to do. We need to very much pay attention to this. Um, if anything, I don't mind if they blow up that construction vessel. But please do not kill that station. Uh, the Raptor is going to be done in 7 minutes. Uh, but... It's always a butt with me, isn't there? But they they don't have medium weapons. I'm actually going to be sending it to the free families because of the flag. There was a major shortage on on turret components, and yeah, you know, this this was the easiest way for me to actually get that done. Uh, hopefully, this fleet will do. Well enough. I'm, oh my, they actually are actually attacking it. That's bad. Uh, will there be a reinforcement fast enough? Well, it seems that the car has well preoccupied the um, the split forces. Oh, please don't kill that. I don't want to send off the Chimeras without the Raptor because they would not have a place to... Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, <laughs> why is this always happening at the worst possible times? Uh, we need to make sure 
that these guys are going to be attacking this. Forget this target. Attack. Remove that order. No. To do it differently then. Attack this. Now, let's make sure that they attacking the right one. The other one needs to go. That is you. Floating debris. You're fleeing. <laughs> well, uh, you might just become floating debris if, um, if this goes wrong. He's fleeing, which is actually something I am okay with because he's actually actively being targeted by the K. So let him do that. You need to go. You need to prioritize your focus and so do you. He, we might lose this guy. He's now actually just drawn in fire. Which is, uh, like I said, it's something I'm okay with. Just attack him. So far, so good. He's actually moving up. All of them are moving down. Uh, you are... You're boosting. Just drop the fleeing. Drop the fleeing. Attack instead, go. And that actually should be fine. You are targeting him. You are doing the same. Yeah, I think we should be okay. What's the station doing? 12%. So far, he's still alive. Let's, uh, yeah, you, you'll just draw the fire. That K is almost gone, which is a good thing so far. That it, This is actually working out pretty decently. The K is gone. They can do whatever they want. He's actually going to the monitor to repair. 12% on that. There is no Claytronics heading our way, which is definitely a problem. I don't think we will lose... The ship, and this now is... What are you doing? Are you still in that circle? You should be in that circle, so that should be okay. I don't think that's enough to deal with that station. But it's still four minutes. And we are lacking a lot of Chimeras. I'm going to give the AI a bit of an opportunity to restock. But I'm... Considering potentially building another hungry tube. Because I rather have two and then work on both of them at the same time than having one station. Uh, which is it's a nightmare to construct. It is a nightmare to construct. I want you to just attack. I don't know what you're doing, but do attack. 12%. Okay, good. So there's a lot of debris over here. I do not even dare to you say that to just see where this is going. Still no claytronics. So there's no construction. There's a dog in here who's been absolutely craving attention. Okay, seems that the reinforcements have now arrived. Which is something I'm very happy about. I'm going to let this guy just bail because even if I keep telling him to attack I might have actually if I do attack all enemies that probably would fix that uh, so do you same with you open wounds can do the same and you're already on that let's take a look again 12% yeah no we, we, we should be safe we should be safe maybe well actually no I would definitely not invade this system because it is somewhat boarded with the Argent Federation and also took a mission to destroy this defensive base uh, how is that looking in terms of defensive mod there's actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 of them 
which is quite a few. And that doesn't include the ships that are in the vicinity. That's 40 million, though. That is 40 million. 12%. Yeah, he's not going down. Monitor is doing fine. We need to actually get some ships assigned to him. Now, we do need all of the gases to this station, huh? Uh, helium and hydrogen and methane. Yeah, that, that's the free gases. Helium. Yeah, they, they have all of that. If we build another station of that, like over here. I think that's worth it. It will take me a hell of a long time to actually get that done. But I think it's going to be well worth it. Especially because this is a split warlord campaign. We do need to be uh, somewhat of a warlord. 9 million is a hell of a lot. Uh, let's just do new plot. Create plot. Drop that down there. Continue. Plan. Monster. Yeah, that, that fits. <laughs> uh, it needs to go... Backwards. Okay. Yeah, that, that should work, actually. Confirm that. So, how much? There is 378 modules that are part of this station. Which brings a total of 266 million in order to get this built. And it will require almost 80,000 claytronics, 160 energy cells, and close to 300,000 hull parts. That's going to take me a while. Yeah, that's going to be... If my war campaign is successful, if we are able to do another one of those supply missions uh, where we build a fleet. I think it's doable. Uh, destroy Station Morningstar, yeah, I know. Um, but at the moment, definitely do not have that type of money. How are you doing? 12%, still no Claytronics. That's problematic. I don't like that. The Raptor is done, actually. So, let's send you off over here. Fly and wait. And these are the fighters. So let us quickly tell you to intercept for commander. And I'm going to be assigning you, 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 and you when the raptor is over here to attack with commander. So how, how interception, I believe, works if they will target anything that is like small. Or medium, but not large. But that could also be wrong. But we'll see. Um, this guy... We're actually going to let you... Dock up and repair. Hopefully soon those other 51 Chimeras will be done. We might actually have to use the other... Split the wharf. Let's take a look how bad this is. There's the, uh, the already lacking eight weapon components. So that is not going to be okay. We need trading ships in order to resupply the monitor. I'm actually going to be taking control of this ship because this is this is ridiculous. Let's teleport over there. So see this as a preparation episode. Next and I think as of next episode we will be actively at war. Very much actively at war with the Federation. Ma'am. Yeah, ma'am, ma'am my ass. Come on, mate. Uh, we can also tractor in the goodies while we actually do this. The monitor is over there. Uh, 
Like, we actually do have um, shields again, it seems. Which is good. So, we actually um, teleported to our raptor. Uh, we're slowly filling that up. Got 25 small fighters. Uh, we're going to be assigning everyone to this fleet. Hopefully, it will still work as intended. I might just drop this uh, particular mission. We have the um, paving the way over here, um, which is giving us overdue respect. The other thing it will give you is that the, uh, the Patriarch will actually expand into these systems. Now, they're not too interesting, but every station they create... Again, is a station that is a potential customer of ours, and especially with this ship in need of so many supplies. Like, I am not going to be giving it that. That is just insane. Oh, there's one, one of my first crime mirrors. Um, that's not how you do that, mate. It's, um, that's wrong. You need to be at the bottom. No, 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 don't, don't scratch the paint like that. Please don't. So we're now waiting <laughs> with the Raptor for the subordinates to go. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Uh, we're going to be taking control. This guy, we will actually teleport to uh, the uh, one of the battleships that has a better commander. Because I want this uh, carrier dude to be as good as... It can be. Also, flying the ship myself, it, it, it's way better. It just it goes a lot faster because I can use the gates. And the AI does not. And I would actually like to get my fleet together uh, during this particular part where we are preparing. So, I'll, uh, I'll meet you guys when the fleet is uh, almost ready. As for the Chimeras, yeah, that, that, that will happen over time. It's, it's not going to happen right now but let us at least witness our very first raptor in its full glory uh, and i say full glory even though i completely forgot that it still needs medium ships and i'm therefore going into the wrong direction yeah so how about this this might not have been the most interesting episode. It does pave the way to the next several episodes. I'm not going to... I'm, I'm hopefully going to be able to deal with the Argon Federation relatively easily. But then again, we have seen my piloting skills, so yeah. Might be, might be not possible. For now, I want to thank you for watching... Hope you enjoyed at least and hope you are absolutely ready for the next few episodes where we will be bringing this bad boy onto the bad battlefield against the Argon Federation. And once we've done and dealt with them, I think it is time to deal with the Xenon before we continue with the Argon Federation. We're leaving um, the Cascade areas, but if we can just deal with the three uh, areas on, uh, on our north... These uh, oh, two areas. Then that would absolutely be a major improvement for the Patriarch as well. Because they've been losing ships to the Xenon. And oh no. Oh actually they actually managed to deal with that. Okay. Well guys. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.